Right now, we'll let you know about a wonderful performance that's coming to the Villar Performing Arts Center in Beaver Creek on February 23rd. It is our planet, live, in concert. And on the show right now, we're going to bring in award-winning composer Stephen Price, who's calling in all the way from across the pond, London. Good afternoon, I guess. It's afternoon over there, right? Good afternoon, good morning, wherever we are. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, well, Stephen, thanks so much for taking the time today to join us. And we're so excited to have this production coming to our area, the Vale Valley. Uh, this is going to be just uh, quite a hot ticket in town. But let's talk a little bit about, first, I want to get your background. What inspired you to get into composing music? I, I think, sadly, it's, it's the only thing I've ever kind of done. I mean, I, I, when I was a kid, I liked two things. I liked to, to, to write stories and I liked to, to play music. I, there yeah. were always instruments around the house where I was growing up. And it's kind of what I do now. I just tell stories with music, really. So I, kind of, I think my development stopped very young. And after you wrote your Emmy-nominated score for the Netflix 2019 documentary series, Our Planet, did you ever envision that it was going to get to be this big and something that was touring on its own it's almost like it's got a life of its own it really is and when we were recording the show we would record every month we'd record at abbey road studios in london we'd record one of the films there's eight films in the series and i remember on about the second one just someone saying god it'd be good to hear this live one day wouldn't it in a, in a room and i thought oh, absolutely would and yeah I, you know never dreamt it would actually happen um but it's it's yeah we've, we've worked on it ever since basically and so completely excited that it's coming yeah America. Okay, Our Planet Live, what, you have 18 orchestra members on the stage. Explain to the viewers how this unfolds on stage in a live performance. Well, really, you're going to get um, a very unique show. We we didn't want to do just a, here's a load of clips from, from the TV show. So we, we went back to the originals. We've made something that's a, a standalone two-hour experience, really. And you get shown some of the wonders around the planet. You get shown the glorious sights, the amazing animals, the amazing views that you get in all these different things, the Arctic, the jungle, wherever it may be. Um, and then you, you get to see how they're, they're all interconnected. Um, but you see kind of how the planet's in, in a bit of trouble in places as well, you know, and we show you some of that stuff. And you've got a huge screen showing this amazing footage with the musicians in front of you, combined with, the, with some of the things I made in my studio, and it all plays together. So David Attenborough talks you through. We have William Shatner yes. hosting the, the, the show on screen. So I think that the evening is this experience where you go from the joy of seeing the planet, the sadness of what we're doing to the planet, but then hopefully we send you away with a lot of optimism about yeah. some of the things that can be done to, to make things better and the clever people working on it. Now, of the eight episodes, which did you find the most daunting to score? Like, do you watch all the footage first and then be oh, like, yeah, okay. yeah. I mean, they show me everything. I was I was lucky on this show to, to see footage about two years before I even had to write for the thing. They were they were getting camera crews were sending them footage all around the world, and these camera crews are out there for four or five years at a time. So incredible amount, and then brilliant people edited together to make these perfect little stories. And then I sit there and, and watch them, and they all have their challenges, and they all kind of sound different. The Arctic was full of these big, expansive melodies, where something like the jungle is tiny little creatures sort of doing tiny little movements and you, you follow them with the music and tell the stories. So they all have their challenges and you all kind of love them in different ways. Jungles I always found really challenging because, you know, there were so many notes. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's totally. A, it's always good fun. Yeah, and it must be fun to think about, okay, I'm going to use in this instrument sound to go with this little creature or like this instrument sound to go with this big like hippopotamus or something. It's probably endless, Absolutely. the ideas. Absolutely. And every every sequence is kind of a movie on its own. You know, every day is a totally different day. I go to the studio and today I'm dealing with, with something that's just feels quite electronic. But the next day I'll be dealing with something which was a solo instrument and very, very intimate and beautiful and a small little moment between a, a mother and a child, really. Yeah. So there's there's so many um, moments in there that, that music was really allowed to, to sail. And, and we've got all of them in the show. Well, how has our planet changed your perspective on our planet? I guess it, it's, it, I learned a lot through the whole process of it. I mean, the, the big thing for me is it's everything is connected. You know, I think it's really easy for us to sit in our homes and think it doesn't matter what happens in the Arctic or what we do doesn't have an effect on the people in the jungle or whatever, but everything is connected yeah. to everything else. And the show really concentrates on that and, and shows you how everything is interrelated and how we can all make a difference as well. And I think that was one of the biggest things I learned is that everything we do counts. You know, we're all in it together. 
Yeah, and uh, we have the World Wildlife Fund. They're involved with this as well. So tell us about that. Yeah, well, WWF were, were always involved in the show from the get-go. So they've been involved. We wanted it to, to be completely scientifically accurate, this show, so that everything that, that we say about the, the state of the world is absolutely researched and, and the science is proven. And um, obviously, WWF doing an awful lot of work in educating people and in, in that world and they're doing an awful lot of um, work to, to try and find the solutions. So yeah, we make a donation from every single show to WWF. So anyone who buys a ticket is contributing to the cause and uh, hopefully, you know, hope, helping to find the solutions. Yeah, perfect. And what do you hope people walk away from after seeing this? You know, this is so wonderful that we have this touring uh, so close to our home right here in Colorado. I, th I, I hope that people just have a, an amazing journey with it. You know, we take you all around the planet. We immerse you in this thing. You, you've got the huge screen. It's one thing watching a Netflix show on your phone or a TV, but <laughs> yeah. you're going to be in the middle of this and the lights are yeah. all surrounding you. You're going to feel like you're in the jungle. You're going to feel like you're in the Arctic and you're going you're to feel some of these, these amazing stories that we put there. And hopefully we send you away with, with some optimism. I think it's really easy to be very depressed about the state of the planet, you know, when you, the news hits you in lots of ways, but... You know, we hopefully show a lot of great things are happening and there's a lot of hope and um, a lot of very clever people doing very brilliant things to, to try and help us. And I think we can we can all support and be a part of that. This would be fun. Have you been to Colorado before? Never been, never been. So I've heard wonderful things, though. So, yeah, very excited that the show is going. OK, well, hopefully you'll enjoy. I mean, you've seen some beautiful scenery from around the world. So hopefully you'll still be impressed by the Rocky oh, Mountains. Sure. <laughs> sure, OK, absolutely. Okay, well, thank you so much for your time today, Stephen. And we can see this show. It is going to be February 23rd at the Villar Performing Arts Center. You can get tickets. There's a special student rate. There's even a, a four-pack discounted rate. So go to VillarPAC.org for more information. Well, Stephen, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. <laughs>